Fuck. Oh shit, dude, there's fucking deer everywhere. What happened? Are we even on public? I don't, can we make a move? I mean, what are we doing out here, dude? I'm not shitting you, there's buck right there. How do we even do this? We should have already moved. Dude's parked in every corner of glass, and so we figured we'd go give him something to look at. Fuck. What are we doing? I'm trying to kill bucks. Goddamn right, dude. Bombing through here, see what comes flying out. Do you think I could shoot a buck through the decoy? Fuck, dude. Fuck it. I'm going out west. Piss, yes, dude. He's pissed. No. Fuck yeah, dude. Getting fired up, dude. Holy shit. Welcome to the hunting pressure. Look at that, dude, oh my god. Hey, they don't even all have orange on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are those the bucks you were looking at? All right, we should hit it. Shit, forks, dude. It's so easy to see that hillside if there's a big buck that they're not going to miss it. Oh, here we go. There's That's a nice. buck down the bottom. That's what I was just looking at. Yeah. They look decent. Where the fuck am I looking? Fuck, dude. Fuck it yeah, what is that? That looks pretty big. Yeah, dude, that's a shooter. Are you serious? Yeah, he's got, dude. Dude, he's, he's got tines. Are you serious? He has tines? Why don't you look? Is it a mule deer? Nope. That looks like a real buck right there. Okay, there's three bucks. All right there? Yep. Oh, yeah, they're running. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, where's the fucking phone scope thing? There's a shooter in there. Did you get a decent look at it? Can you still see it? I don't even know. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. It's gotta be a buck, maybe just a small one. There he is. So maybe the deer I saw from the other angle was a... Oh shit, dude, there's fucking deer everywhere. They're running towards us. Damn, that's a, that one's a big buck, dude. Look to the left. Look at that shit to the left. Yeah, so those are all buck. Dude, there's a truck. God damn it. Maybe that's why they're running. Where's the truck? Right above them. God damn it. It's a farmer, dude. I sure hope. Well, there's deer scattered all over the bottom. Running now, like full blown. I think this guy was just taking a look. Fucking Saturday, dude. God damn it. Yeah, that's one of the bigger ones, I think. Running, chasing behind the doe. Like the one that's still visible right there? He's walking left to right. Yeah, that looks like a pretty big animal. Oh, they're pushing right this way. He looks like he's not a giant, but could be a real nice boy. <laughs> yeah, I think there is a bigger one. Well, there's so much movement. I'm sure that we'll get another look here. Zero wind. Maybe this is the switch. It's supposed to crank. Like, dude, they might come right in front of the truck here. We should, like, go down there. Let's go. Oh, that's our guy. That's our guy from the other day. That's the big eight. We need to be killing them right now. You have the deke? Oh, no, I didn't get that far. Yet. Oh, fuck. Well, here's everybody. Little buck, some other doe. Oh, and it's the half rack. Dude, they're about to fucking beef. Where does the public start? Are we even on public? I don't, can we make a move? I'm gonna get a camera shot. How do we even do this? We should have already moved. Dude, I know. Damn it, dude, are they gonna run out of here? Yeah. Well, we fucked up then. Yeah, we did. If we get any cover, damn it. She's gonna turn, maybe. Turn. What's over that way? That other piece, isn't it? Just open cow pasture for a little bit and then another Fuck. piece. Damn it. Dude. Alright, 
we gotta move. We would have probably had to try to just literally intercepting them. I picture just running down here, like they started coming up to the draw. Dude, we gotta act on that stuff way more. Dude, I bet they, I bet they locked down right there. So we got away from the dinkers. They must have just gave it up. You just lay down? Yep. They're on public. Might be a little bit of a tricky spot, but. What's going on there? Where? On the right. Are the other deer showing up? Yeah, he just stood back up. He's pissed, dude. He's immediately going to guard. Dude, he's tired, man. He laid down that quick. He looked tired when we were seeing him close. So they're gonna bed down here at some point. And it feels like the wind's doing what you're saying it's gonna do, so he's disappearing now. That, that's her, huh? The one sliver of private. I think I can see the big one in the corner. Yeah, you can. Dude, he's on the public. By a foot, dude. I feel like they're just not gonna go anywhere. Do you think we could make it close enough to him down this fence line? He's going to be sweet though. What? Sneak down this fence line and then pop the decup right on top of the hill. <coughs> if he, uh, yeah, if that set up for us. Are you pumped? I'm not pumped about where they are. I feel like they're about the worst place they could end it up for us right now. Well, he just crossed, so what, should, what do you think we should do here? I don't think there's anything we can do, we're just gonna watch. I think if they totally bed in a place we can't get to them, then maybe we go do some other shit and then come back and they're gonna be around. I don't know how to, cause like maybe they'd still be in the field and we'd have to wait to, till dusk for someone to fucking kick them up and get yeah, them somewhere. Go. They're gonna go somewhere we can, yeah. We're gonna hunt these deer right now, dude. There's no way they're gonna bet on the only piece of private. No, he's running the little buck off, it looks like. Yeah, he's running off the other one. Where's she going? Headed to public, dude. Deeper into private? Headed to public. Just getting pestered. I gotta say, you see that? We're gonna have to get close to get him to actually come to the decoy. Hey, that's just how I like it. 4K, 30 up. 30 yards. Don't lay down right there. Just taking a shot. Dog ass tired. They need to lay somewhere we can get to them and then if it starts ripping, we'll just go for them. Mm -hmm. We lost him over that lip. Basically, the green's private, the grass is public. If they held up in the public, there's like a little ditch snaking through there that we can't see, so. So he's running up, trying to look down and see if they held up. They gotta be in there or double back. No, no, I can see the dome. Oh, really? Shit. Um, but as tight as he was, I imagine he's better than there. Well, we could loop around and we should probably look at the time that the wind is gonna change. Yeah, well, let me watch for a minute, I guess, if you can't see her from there, and I'll, stop, and I'll come back. There's two trucks parked on the road to the north of here. Oh, fuck. So I don't know what they're doing. She's, she's right in here somewhere. I got two pins, one on Google, one on RX, and I think between them, I'll figure that out. But, like, there's a good chance that we won't be able to see them until we're up there. And then I kind of figured maybe we'll just get real close and Watch till they stand or something if we can't see them. I can't see pheasant knives behind us. Really? I could, but hopefully we can just stop them. He said those guys are parked up here. Yeah. So yeah, they're probably on that north stuff. Was this the road that the truck was on? No, I'm certain it now it was. They had to have been, dude. They had the dust up there. Dude, and he's already fucking down there. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. Guys. What's up, fellas? Hey, where are you guys headed? Work this piece? You guys gonna work that side of the road at all? Deer hunting.
Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> All right, they're fucking solid. They said they're just right in here, dude. That was pretty cool. Dude. What do I no. More than accommodating, not like, like yeah. If they thought you were burning on there, they'd tell you to fuck yourself. Good deal. Well, we got that big eight from the other day relocated. Got blowed out by field walkers at our first stop opening day at Pheasant. So we came back to where we've been hunting the last three days and pretty quick spotted just a gang of bucks chasing a doe. And the biggest one was that crab claw eight. So we're starting to think there's just no megas around here and he's one of the biggest bucks we've seen. So we followed them around until we got them bedded up, had a little lunch and uh, we're going in. And after yesterday's deal with the high wind and whatever, we're just gonna bring both decoys. So if it gets real windy, we're just gonna run that one. Pretty excited, he's in a good spot. We'll see how this goes. This feels familiar. I'll tell you what, if this thing survived yesterday, that was the durability test. It's not gonna get worse than that. Yeah, dude. Pretty proud of that thing. Holy shit, look at this. Is this a fucking pond? Ditch box. Pond we didn't box. actually see him bedded, but... Dude, are these cattails? No, but we, we saw her bedded. It's in some stuff like this, down this dried up creek bed. Sea box, dude. Ditch box, dude. Kidding me? It stinks like EHD. This is what North Dakota smelled like. Yeah. There's no water. Is this the water those pheasant hunters were talking about? Maybe. Oh yeah, dude, there's water. Dude, how have we been overlooking this water source during the rut? Got all these dehydrated bucks, dude. They need some liquid IV, dude, some Joe Rogan stack. I think that's what no, that they... white crusty stuff is. Oh in yeah, that's the stuff. You What's think a... there's any duck potato down here? Oh, right here. Spiky duck potato. Dude, you kidding me? That's well, the first water I've seen. On public. Look at that. That's water. Shit, we should just sit this. Ouch, dude. This is the shit that burns. How cool. Neat. Bucks like water. Come on, dude. Basic stuff here. Dude, we've been fucking up. We could probably just sit this and then they probably run up that ditch and we never see them. Dude, are you kidding? All right, hold on a sec, let's get a berry. I'm getting spiky, dude, in my fucking ass. It's stressing me out, dude. Yeah, I can tell. It hurts. Dude, that looks like a big buck boat launch right there. Yeah, you know all tracks. Maybe that's why they're over here. So we're not far, yeah. They oh, might dude. actually be... What the shit? They might actually be a bit north of that. That's close, then. They're boat hunting. It's 360 yards, so I pan that might be closer to us than they are, but obviously they could have moved. They could be 80 yards from us right now. Maybe we could go up this hill and look down and try to spot them. I think that's a good idea. Get them. Well, let's do that. Lo locate them. Get their position with our vision. Yeah, dude, this might work out great. I don't feel very stealthy with this fucking decoy. Are you pumped? Yeah, I'm pumped. Is that what you actually said? Yeah. Oh. I'm pumped up, dude. This is cool. I'm pumped up. This is cow pasture ditch bucks you wanted to hunt them in. Yeah. Look at that pile of cows. I don't know, man. It's pretty grazed in here. Should we go somewhere else? If they stood up and we're above this line, like, we might just, like, have a straight up line of sight. So I think we gotta stay pretty low. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, dude. Thinking out loud, dude. I'm tracking, dude. I'm I figured you were already tripping that we're even up here. I mean, a little bit, because, like, what if they're, you know, like. But I think it's our best way to see them first. Otherwise, we just hunt into them. If it was ripping harder, I'd probably just vote that, but. Yeah, but I'm down to try and find them, even if we gotta sit here for 20 minutes. You mean an hour? Yeah. I was gonna crawl. Dang, he's going for it. He'll definitely see us. Damn that. Maybe he'll find him real quick and then I'll come up there. This is that's like standing up. Oh shit. Can you hear me? I 
think they're like right here. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to do this? Like it's gotta be right in there, so I'm, I'm kinda guessing they're like just on the other side of this crown from us. But I'm feeling pretty confident, but we watched them go right down that trough at that fence corner there. I'm pretty sure it's like, that, like that's where they are. Like they're right where we saw them last. Yeah, so how should we do this? I mean, we can go straight there, but if I'm wrong and they're over here, they moved, then we'll have to just see them. Should we just drop down and go sneaking on, snaking up there? Let's drop back and go snaking up that little river ditch. Pop up on the on the rise there. Crest up on the rise there and get eyes on them. Dude, uh, what the fuck is this itchy shit? I don't know. This, I was trying to tell you and you were like, what are you talking about? Da, 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 da. It's pretty cool how well you can see this hill right here. Yeah. So when there's action over there, we can see that too. And it's funny, it like looks so cool to me. And then I try to film it and I'm like, yeah, it's just yeah. the ground. I keep wanting to take pictures like, damn, look at this. And it's like, if you were to try to show somebody, they'd be like, oh, this is uh, grass. Oh, it's, yeah, it's pretty. Wow, it looks so nice out there. You're like, yeah, yeah, you see that like, like ditch in the way that there's like those weeds and then the, the, these, this stuff's like actually pretty tall. And right there, there's a tree. All right, let's do it. Man, we'll just stand up here. Whatever, dude. This is Kansas hunting, dude, not Michigan. Yeah, I'm super itchy. It's taking a lot of self-control to not scratch my skin off. Dude, are we really double beacon right now? Fuck yeah, we are. This is like the Kansas version of bringing tree stands, ghillie suits, and waders. Oh. All right, yeah, so it's this type of stuff. Yeah. Um. And who fucking knows if they've moved or something, so we might Yeah, and satellite there. box. And satellite box. And satellite box. Stock and wind. Pretty pumped. I won't be surprised at all if they're like not all the way to where I'm saying this on last. Well, we gotta be ready to take a knee and put the deeks up. Yeah, double deeks. We'll be pissed, dude. Dude, with the time of day and how tired they were and everything. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they like don't stand up in the next hour or two and like we're just gonna have to like literally walk up to them. Got him. We found him. Are we good right here? Yeah, he's, he's down in the ship. God damn it, that was, that was stressed, man. I was like, man, I have all this confidence, but if you can't, if you don't know where they're at. He was right, he's on, right on the fence. I could see his rack. He's at the light sign. Wait, do you see him? No. He must have turned or something, because I can't see him. Dude, he's probably laying down like a dead horse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's up. See him? Uh-oh. Yeah, I can see him from down here now. If you're looking at that sign, he's right where I said. He's right. If you're looking at the sign, you can see him. He's he's a lot. He's walking. At least he took a step. I mean, maybe he was just on his feet for a second. He just bed again. Oh, dude, he's down to the left. Big rack down to the left. Scan, yeah, scan, that's scan. him. So he is walking and on his feet. Maybe the wind's making him. A is little that nervous. him? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, going back right. Maybe he's just doing a little security check. Yeah, and then he's gonna lay back where he was. He's still right at the sign. Maybe he is bedded and he can see him bedded. He could be on his feet though. Let's get the low shit now. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. wind so I can yeah. do some decoy and stuff.
Man, we just walked out in the open. Yeah, dude. That's, we're hunting. Man, this isn't... It's not very low. Not much of a ditch, huh? Yeah, what the fuck is this? Looks like it gets better this way, man. Yeah, we're quite a bit lower here, because... Yeah, so there's not much to work with, like, for us to move from here to there and get cover. But where they are is thick cover. So, like, if it's ripping windy and he stays down, we could probably just walk to those weeds. We gotta try something. Yeah. Or or wait till dusk, I guess is one thing. It's gonna be dead quiet tonight. I wanna put this right in there. You don't wanna bring it in case we're gonna wait? No, because I just I wanna go kill him. We got like probably less than two hours for this wind. Let's go. Shit's pretty tall. Hey, does the river bottom open up to the left? Do you see that? We might be able to get in that. Isn't that like a hole on the area or something? Oh, I don't know if it is, then we probably shouldn't go for it, but. Shit, dude. When we were running out of cover, we could just grab some of those. I'm like not even kidding. Think about that. Grab it right now. Like you could walk up like this. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that, that ditch might work. Let's get in there. If it doesn't work, we can always get back out. Okay. It's not that much lower, huh? No. What do you think, go back out to the weeds? Why don't we just head that way? Those fucking sticky motherfuckers hurt. My legs are all pricked up. Pissing me off. I should have just wore blue jeans. Just walking in the open anyway. Yeah, dude, you see that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What? This grass. Yeah, dude, it hurts. Yeah, that's gotta be the spot. Get a finger shot of that. Alright, hit it. No, like you gotta do it, right? Because otherwise, how am I gonna do it? We're gonna go to that. Right there. I like this, it's going good. I thought you came out here to practice aggressive ground tactics. So where is he? He's gotta be right in there. Man, we almost, we probably just get the fucking ball range. Way he stands up. He's just over a hundred, which is... You can shoot that pretty. far. Okay, this shit's tall, dude. Let's just fucking get up in there. If we stay low, we're gonna be pretty fucking hidden. We'll get on that side of it. Let's get right to the fucking fence corner there. Fuck, so we just bomb straight to the golden edge? Like, if we did that, we'd be in ball range. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like... Well, yeah, so it's like, to me, it's either like fucking ditch decoy, snake up there. I can wait for him to stand up from to this grass level. Then I can stand up and slock. Otherwise, I think if we get up here and get the decoys staked, maybe we could get to that thick corner. I think that's too far. I don't think he'll come out there. Oh, you yeah, dude, that's pretty close, man. Let's do that. Crouch it away. I like that. And yeah. even if we go over there, we can still crawl up yeah, and kill him. Yeah, yeah. We're looking real good. We made it. We're good, dude. We're looking real good. Sweating bad, but we got the wind in our face. Yeah, I'm almost thinking we fucking. Hey, turn, turn, turn. Fucking pheasant hunters, probably. Maybe a giant buck will come flying over next. What the hell is that? Something. I mean, is that a coyote though on the hill? Where? Yeah, there's a coyote. Oh yeah. Well, there you go, motherfucker. Dude, I both can see in there good enough that we might be able to spot tits, but also like it's so thick like this, like you'd never see them. And maybe that's good because we just walk right up there. Yeah, 60 to the fence post. I feel that we could probably literally like, crawl up to their weeds. Eventually he's gonna stand up and give us a shot. 
So it's like we could either do that, like close all the distance right there, or we could try to decom from either some some position over here. I mean, I like the idea of the decoy more, but it's like, what if we're just not close enough again? Yeah, so we could even close 20 more yards and just get to these next weeds. Let's see how that goes. And obviously, like, we'll size it up when we get there. If it's like, we might have to shoot them when we get there, is the problem. If we've learned anything, we gotta get in his bubble. We're gonna see him before he sees us, as long as we're looking, you know? Especially in this wind and stuff, we get in the weeds and just kind of mat down the whole area for ourselves. Yeah, this was just the first like hidden position. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. I'm just gonna move through that. Oh shit, it's up. He's looking. Damn it. No, he didn't catch us. It's just a buck, rotten. Should I, the, should I get the beak ready? Probably. Oh, there's another buck too. That's the satellite buck. Yep. Come here, fuck everything up, dude. The decoy's leaning against me. We gotta move that. Oh, you gotta. Okay, hang on, this buck is. They're coming to fuck with him. Yeah. We got live decoys. believe that dude. It's too funny. See posh. Oh right here. You hear him grunting? The shooter. The shooter's up. You can hear him or see him? Both. Oh wait, that's not the shooter. Oh it's a different buck. Well yeah through there I thought Damn, yeah, this guy's bristling up on the hill. This, this, this buck's pretty good too. No my weed's gonna blow away shit. Oh, here's the big buck. Damn it, my leaves are going away. Should I be ready to use the deke? I think that they're gonna be pretty preoccupied, man. I think we should just shoot them. Where's he at? Right, right in front of us. Right where that, that one's looking. I wanted my tumbleweed, but it's gone now. Couldn't hold on to it. But yeah, I mean, maybe, like if he looks at us, yeah, he should definitely pull it up. looking at us. The one on the hill? No, he's not. He was. So he's 42. The little buck? Yeah. We probably had the big one at 30, 35 in the weeds. Damn, Damn it, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, because if he got the fuck out of here, we might be able to scoot up and shoot him. God damn it. I really liked my tumbleweed blind, but I'm not pumped about that. Oh. No way. Where is she? Damn it, dude, it's right fucking here. She is? No, no. This, there's a buck at 15 yards. Straight the way my arrow is pointing. He's looking this way. But that, that noise was the estrus bleat. That doe must be at less than 20. They could, they could oh, I see a rack right through the fucking Yeah, head. dude, there's a buck right there. Wait, that's, that's him. Are you positive? What I was just looking at, like if he would have taken a couple steps to the left, I would have had like a under 20. I mean, if we got a shot off, I wish I fucking had my weed still. I should have like tied it to my back. I think, that buck, I think the big buck is looking right here. Let me see here. He can't see you though. Too many weeds. You hear him? Yeah. He's right fucking here. Yeah, he is. I can see his rack through this. Dude, is he like? Hang on a second. I can hear him breaking his... Dude, should I put this in the deep up? Yeah, yeah. Do you see him? No.
I see the dough. The little box, look. There's a little buck over there. Yeah. Okay, here's the doe. Dude, Dude, was that you. not the coolest fucking <laughs> hunt? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> you fucking smoked, dude. Dude, you fucking smoked. <laughs> Dude, we were fucking due for some shit like that, dude. dude. That, that was nuts. Holy fuck, man. I fucking was freaking out. I didn't bring my quiver. I was going to grab it for you, but then I was like, I'm going to grab the decoy in case maybe we need to hide behind it again. I'm like, dude. Because I didn't know anything about the shot. I didn't want to ask you. And then. Well, you could. I mean, I shot straight through it. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know what happened, but the GoPro was there, so... I was like, dude, dude not gonna have much for pre-roll. Are you fucking right? kidding dude, me? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, man? Y wait, you fucking crushed that because I was in the viewfinder and had no idea what happened. I didn't even really knew, I just knew know they you were drew. Close. Wait, I knew they were close, and I was like, tension on the string because I was like hearing them fucking cracking the weeds <laughs> at ten yards, and I was like, as soon as I see any movement, I'm gonna draw. They about ran into us. Yeah, I shot them at like. Four yards or something. Wait, that that got borderline dangerous there for a second. Dude. Charging, running bucks. Dude, I can't fucking believe that. Dude, look at the fucking size of that. I deer. know, I know. Right when we walked down the bushes, I was whispering, "You fucking smoked him," just because I saw the straight punch in the rack. I mean, dude, I was pretty like positive at the shot. You but, were? Yeah. All right, cool. But then I, was, I heard it, and yeah. I was like. <laughs> Because I felt, because I came up and it was so fucking close, I was like, my pin's in the middle of his fucking body. <laughs> like, hard to fuck it up that bad. I mean, once the weeds did, but, uh, we, hey, we practiced that. Yeah, I wasn't worried. Dude, unfucking believable That was nuts. We actually almost got run over. They came crashing over the hill, into here, grunting, bleating, dude. Was here. They were, you like, snorting at each other and stuff. Yeah. Like, my fucking, <laughs> god damn it, dude. Dude. <sighs> We have had Dude. some bad luck this season, some like unfortunate bullshit that I, I mean, like, could that have been any cooler? No. We knew they were holed up in here, some satellite butt bucks come crashing in just after we had closed all the distance. And that's why I was panicking when I saw him come over. So I'm like, well, something's going to go down right now. We didn't even need the deke. We had the real thing. Fucking smoked him, dude. Yeah, he did. I don't know, I'm fucking speechless. Jesus fucking Christ, that was intense. Yeah, as far as the conversations of like the coolest ways we could have done it, 
I don't think it gets any cooler. No, dude. Oh my God. Dude, are you having fun yet or what? I'm actually kind of speechless. Are you having fun yet or what, dude? <laughs> nah. That was just the coolest thing ever. That was the coolest fucking hunt ever. I mean, I'm sure like filming it was kind of tough, but. We'll see what happens. I mean, the GoPro though. That's yeah, what the GoPro's that, I think for. that's what saved it. Yeah. But I remember being a little concerned too, like as far as like their proximity to us. And I, I was like, I'm gonna get a shot. When, when do that? I saw the smaller bucks rack. Like that dude that was like, it must have been 15 or something. And then I saw him like in the mix, like his rack come over the top a couple times. And so I knew they were both right there, grunt, fucking doe bleating. Oh my God. And then, yeah, cause obviously no idea for sure what happened on the shot. And then he stopped. I was like, dude, I'm gonna fucking get one. I'm gonna fire oh, one wait. in there. Yeah, cause I was gonna ask you right after the shot when we both stood up, if I was gonna be like, how was the shot? But then you reached for your quiver and I was like, yeah, fuck that. Let's, I'm not gonna ask him. Let's just go put another one in. Cause yeah. like, we've already made that mistake. I had that moment where I'm like, I don't know what happened. I'm like, but he's still in range. Yeah, I saw you <laughs> register that and I was like, yeah, 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 let's go. Oh my God. He's like fucking posed. All right, hang tight real quick. 5% battery. battery. No way. Come on. <laughs> Dude, you killed something in the real tree. I was gonna say, so since we started hunting on the ground more, we thought we might run into some scenarios like this. You know, you're down low and you're, you're targeting this like thick brushy stuff that they like to bed in. So it's like very realistic. You're gonna end up potentially having to shoot through some of it. And so that's why, you know, I, I really, I built these arrows uh, with that in mind. So, you know, just to make sure I was in good shape, I went with the Victory VAP 350 spine, total arrow weight around 380 grains. And, uh, Rage 2 blade. That's what we just figured, you know, really gave us the edge on shooting through heavy cover, you know, into big bodied mature bucks. Thought light, thin arrow, expandable broadhead. Looks like it did the number. Let's go take a look. This is a China knockoff one. That was my backup. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Dude, he's posed. That's so cool. I gotta get a picture for me. Yeah, they must have been laying here. Buck shit all over. Mm hmm. Dude, I fucking 10 ringed him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking drilled him, dude. Right through the weeds. Through this. <laughs> dude, he's fucking sweet. Yeah, he is. It's a big buck. Dude, you fucking drilled him. <laughs> fucking smoked him. I've been really practicing trigger punching. For moments like that you know when you don't have time to like work through your process and you know like execute a real clean shot so i've been practicing my trigger punching for like 15 years for moments like this and let me say i had no problem pulling up and punching that trigger so all that hard work has paid off oh my gosh this is weird dude just been so we've been hunting so fucking hard oh my god look at this thing Dude. Well, that was the coolest hunt of my life. Public land. DIY. DIY. Western whitetails. <laughs> Open country. I wonder oh, if we'll shit. find that arrow. Oh yeah, we'll find it. Dude, this is why I shoot those 380 grain custom built victory vaps with a uh, rage expandable so I can get pass throughs through heavy cover on big ass bucks. <laughs> He's look how tall it is. Do you like big bodied bucks, dude? dude that's what I like. Oh, <laughs> look at <laughs> I'm standing in a puddle. <laughs> dude, good work. I sat on this guy for an entire day, like three or four days ago. I can't even remember what day. Maybe three sounds about right. <laughs> we had that awesome evening hunt for him. Couldn't quite convince him. <laughs> we tried our best. By the end of that night, I was like, 
it's a scaling issue. I'm like looking at his antlers and he doesn't look that big because he's fucking huge. Yeah, when we walked around the corner right here, all of that clicked for me. Jesus Christ, we've been fucking on them. We've been in the rut frenzy. The Kansas rut frenzy. If there ever was a rut frenzy, that, <laughs> that was it. I mean, dude, that was so much fucking cooler than anything else that could have possibly happened. I think that's the peak. That's the like, peak. Like, you're in the bubble during a rut frenzy. And other bucks just came bombing in Two of them. They must have just, because they were the ones who were asking them earlier, I'm sure. And they were probably bedded up there. And they just were like, fuck it, let me go again. <laughs> yeah, they probably got some rest. These deer have been fucking tired. Yeah, he was sleeping like a dead horse yeah. all day. <laughs> His three head days was ago. fucking bobbling. Dreaming. Dude. I'm so fucking pumped. His ears are all like notched and biting. He only chipped a couple times. I mean, wait, he chipped like all his times, <laughs> but they aren't broken off. Dude, we easily could have gotten run over there. Oh yeah. I thought I was gonna have to shoot him in self-defense. So like as soon as I heard a fucking mo of movement, I drew and it worked perfect. Yeah, that smaller one came through and he was right on his fucking tail and then he fucking stopped. He, he stopped and like looked right at us and then fucking, punched him. I'm pretty sure it's like an 11 ring. I think it's like right in the heart. <laughs> Dude, you crushed that execution. Well, like, thanks. I think there's a lot of room to fuck that up and miss that opportunity. That was the coolest fucking thing, dude. That was I, nuts. I, we'd have to like brainstorm how it could happen cooler, I think. Like, how do you even come up with something cooler than that? Yeah. Like, jump out of a plane and shoot one from a fucking <laughs> parachute? As bad as I wanted to shoot one in his bed, because how cool I think that is, that was cooler. Yeah, man, I stand by like what I've been saying I'm about. As long as it's a big ass buck, who the fuck cares? One day maybe I'll care about score or something, but when you're shooting bucks like this, like, dude, all that fucking fixed blade propaganda, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, definitely is. I mean, listen, you just tendering a big ass buck through your ditch weeds. It's like we weren't just gonna you know, recklessly find out, we fucking practiced it. Shit, we spent a day shooting in the backyard through spent shit. Spent an entire day shooting through grass and then saw weeds zero problem. Yeah. yeah. And now I can continue to talk shit <laughs> forever about fucking clowns using fucking single bevels and heavy arrows. Someone said these aren't sharp out of the box, but every hunt trip we've been on, I've cut myself just using my, just like, handling my arrows. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this cut the other day was from one. Fucking crush it, dude. dude. I mean, that's how you execute it. Like, that's the type of shit I think makes you good at ground gaming. Like, dealing with that sort of shit. Like, shit not happening on your terms. Yeah. And we've had plenty of fuck-ups, dude, to, yeah. like, learn. Well, yeah, because, like, you know, we were feeling pretty good about ourselves after last year, and we've had a fucking hard year. I don't know. We keep making mistakes because we keep finding ourselves in situations that we're like, if we had done this or this or this and so many opportunities, like not a ton of Kansas whitetail opportunities, but the, but a the ton Kansas of ones. Laying in the ditch in bow range yeah. of bucks. Yeah. I mean, this guy the other day, we felt like we could have done better. Dude, and you know what? Another good one. We came in and got it done while the wind was forecasted high because how many times did we get in and then oh the wind God, die dude. on us and then we're stuck in dead ass. And you know how I feel about that. So I was terrified of that. That was one of the reasons I'm like, I don't even want to talk about it. We're just going to walk across the open because if it dies, I don't know what's going to happen. Big ass buck, Big dude. ass buck. Tallest buck, you're right. Like chest to back height. Mm -hmm. Big ass buck, Just dude. a mature fucking buck. He's not a three year old. I don't know, but there's no fucking, look at the fucking feet on that thing. No way he's a three-year-old. He's huge. I'm gonna get my quiver and we should get picked. Let's walk back real quick. My okay. release is back there. Look at him over there, dude. Dude, dude you fucking crushed that. 
Well, I've been fucking tripping, dude. You know, we worked so hard for an opportunity. It puts so much fucking pressure on, like, executing in that moment. Because it's like, that's what it is, right? It comes down to a moment. It's not like normal hunting moment pressure. It's like three weeks straight without firing an arrow pressure trying to fill multiple people's tags it's like it's not just my hunt it's a lot of pressure oh i was like what's that book i did the same thing i was like there's another dead buck yeah dude a shot too yeah i feel like he was like right yeah. in here somewhere yeah, dude, right been here. right in there so let's find the arrow we'll probably be able to tell pheasant opener buck are you kidding me Everybody's out here blowing up public land. We're out here blowing up big ass bucks. <laughs> I don't see my arrow, but I feel like it should be easy to see. Unless it's buried. buried yeah. There. So much kinetic energy. So about momentum. Sounds like bow hunters need a science lesson. God. Where's the fucking arrow? Oh, you should have put the string with the fishing reel on oh, it. Oh yeah, fuck. This is where I have panic attacks about backing up footage. Panic attacks. You got your release on in case something happens here? Where was it? Man, I think you just buried it into the got fucking hill. Things in the next county. Some, oh yeah, dude, found it. That's right where it should be. Dude, is that thing fully deployed? Damn, these damn mechanicals, you know, fucking one-time use, no warranty. She your ages, you know, bent this blade. Can't reuse it. What number is that on Arby's list of broadhead stuffs? Did you get a nice shot of that? Should we do like a serious one? Hang like on. a custom build. Really proud of these, you know, building myself. First time ever building arrows. Nate and I did it over the summer. We used some like pipe cutter or something, fucking hack the ends off and some like household Elmer's glue or something. They come factory spine aligned, so uh, I've never even shot this arrow before. And it, you know, it performed great, flawless. You don't have to roll them in the bathtub or anything and no. find which way the coconut faces north or whatever. You just put these stickers on and then you glue these deals, these little pieces of plastic on it. Screw one of these bad boys on it and you're ready to go. Do be careful, you cut yourself. I know, I, sh I should be careful. Fucking throttle them. Damn, dude. Dude, that's pretty cool. I don't think I even came up because I was so worried uh, about yeah. it. Because I just drew and then followed them through. I, dude, my bow was probably like literally just in this shit. Wow, dude. And that's that, where they plowed that through. passed through and then went this far through these things. Fuck yeah, dude. Shit, for a second, we thought it went through two bucks. That's what was laying <laughs> over there. I would have believed it. Yeah, because that's their trail they fucking bulldozed through yeah. on. And then the shot would have been right in here oh man i didn't man happened too fast i forgot to look at my angle compensation negative seven from here should have taken that into account that's why i was a little bit low i think six how fucking cool is that dude you said you wanted a close one i wanted the point blank one really bad and i felt like point blank <laughs> his body was like wider than the whole sight picture that's so fucking cool. I'm really glad we found it. Hey, shoot it again. Ready to go, dude. It's ready to go. The nocturnal didn't work. Yeah, no shit. Dude. I couldn't, it wasn't rated for the fucking torque that RPM's putting out. I'm so happy. So fucking happy, I'm dude. so happy you just fucking drew back and punched it. I'm pretty sure he stopped and looked at us, and I was like, yeah, there's no hesitating here, because I could see someone being like, oh, I don't know about the weeds, and him just blowing out of there. Dude. Man, I really... I really think this custom archery stuff's pretty, pretty hip. So I got a custom paint job on this bad boy and new strings. I thought the paint was just to seal up the limb splitting. It's hanging in there. Also, I don't know what I did, but after a while, this they start sliding off. Like, watch this. Uh, that's not good, dude. <laughs> I've just been making it a habit to pinch them back together. I need to tighten that up too. Shit. And I'm not putting this in front of the shoulder. That's fucking, that's bullshit, dude. All right, get back there. Let me do some. All right, do some snapping and then, okay. Maybe she gets some nice Weber low ones. Oh, wait, this one's a good one. This one's my favorite. Damn, this dude. Is my I think this one's my favorite. But just scroll through them, because I wasn't happy, and I want you to be pumped. Yeah, dude. 
fat. Look at that fucking neck. I don't know what did that. Are you serious? The sun's like right behind us. Yeah. Buck, right next to your property. Um, where are we at? Yeah, that sounds about right. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind if we pulled the truck down the down the side of your pivot so we could get the deer out without having to drag it the half mile. Where are you from? Uh, Michigan. Like you're away our, our Michigan deer hunting isn't great, so we made the trip. All right, Matt, I think I have deer hunting going on up here in Nebraska. Well, heck yeah, we do some hunting in Nebraska too. That'll work. All right. Heck yeah, definitely. Well, thanks. We got more bucks to kill. Let's get this thing loaded up. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, I'm fucking pumped. How cool is that? So when we get some service, I'll fucking send them a rig, dude. Pins and picks. Dude, tell them you shot it in a rut frenzy. Send them a link. Dude. How cool would that be? That's I'm surprised you got to through to him. I fucking used my premium white pages account and got his primary sell. It worked out, dude. Five bucks, worth it. Fuck yeah, five bucks was worth that. Yeah. The camera lens is so filthy in the sun, it's kind of giving it a smoky look. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> kind of like your contacts right now, huh? Fuck yeah, dude. Would have actually died trying to drag him that far. Pheasant opener, Kansas buck. Kansas Nobody Kansas else killed today. Everybody uh -huh. got blown out. 70 degree Saturday pheasant opener. That's the day we kill on? Come on. Dude, maybe we can get sponsored by White Pages Premium. <laughs> dude, we double deek, no deek. <laughs> double deek, no deek. Kansas pheasant opener, six yard rut frenzy buck archery kill. Public land? crashed the party. Dude, that was crazy. He got smoked. The timing of it all. Bet it up bucks, dude. Dude, look, 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 look like a sink dog. He did the confetti thing. Oh, where you open it and it goes mm -hmm. That's funny. Oh, dude. Look at that. Jesus. That's that's the pocket, dude. Fucking lungs is falling out of the hole. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Look at his tail. Oh yeah, stub tail, dude. That's oh wait, tail. what happened? Let me film that, dude. That's wild. Yeah. How, how's that happen? He got like fucked up and fucked up. Maybe literally a coyote grabbed him by the tail and, and like, ripped, ripped that it. off. I bet. Just holding on to it, you know how they would. Doing wheelies with coyotes on his ass? No, because I, I just I want to go kill him. <laughs>